I was in Walmart the other day and I came across some Wagyu steaks. I say Wagyu, Wagyu, f you. Why do they gotta make this shit so difficult to say, especially with my Midwestern accent? But I thought we'd give it a try and test it against some USDA choice. Follow me and let's turn up the tasty. <laughs> So I was in Walmart the other day shopping around and I noticed that they now carry Wagyu steaks. So I thought I'd try it out. I've tried other Wagyu on this channel, mostly American Wagyu, which is called Angu, or as I prefer to call it, Wangus. It's a mixture of Wagyu and Angus cattle. We've also had pure Japanese Wagyu, which is really delicious. What they sell at Walmart is Australian. So we thought we'd compare and contrast that against their USDA choice. So what we have here are two ribeyes. Come on in, take a close look, and we'll see the difference in that marbling. Right over here, we have the USDA choice, and there's just not a lot of that intermuscular fat. And as I say all the time on this channel, the fat is where it's at. That's where beef, meat in general, gets a lot of its flavor. Now compare and contrast that, to the Wagyu over here, and we're gonna see a lot more of that interior fat. It should make it, in theory, a lot more tasty. This steak over here cost about $13 a pound. The Wagyu cost about $26 a pound. They're both about 7 tenths of a pound, so they should cook fairly uh, evenly, but uh, let's find out. Follow me. So over here, we have two Lodge cast iron skillets heating on the same size burners. And we have the temperature set exactly the same on both. We're trying to keep as many things constant as possible. I even have this infrared thermometer right here. And we're gonna try to uh, drop these in when they hit about 400 degrees. Then we're gonna drop the temperature down to make sure we don't exceed the burn point of that oil. Uh, today we're using uh, avocado oil. It has a very high burn point. And um, that's important because you want an oil with a high burn point so it doesn't burn. Extra virgin olive oil is a good example. When that oil burns, it's going to create a burnt, bitter exterior that is just no good. Okay, right now, both of them are reading about 300. I'm gonna let them come up to about 400 degrees. We're gonna drop, drop in some oil, then the steaks, then turn down the heat a little bit. All right, we're right there at 400. We're already seeing some smoke coming off the top of both these. Drop the oil in, get it rolling around. There we go. Now, before this burns, I'm gonna go ahead and turn these down to about a medium heat. Drop in, get a good press to get that sear, and now the Wagyu. We're gonna let these sear about two to three minutes per side, flip, and pull them off when they reach an internal temperature of 120 to 125 degrees. The carryover heat will bring them up to a nice medium rare temperature. Now while these are cooking, I wanna say, I know that I can add butter and rosemary and baste them and do a whole bunch of other things, but I really wanna to try to keep as many things the same as possible. So I'm not going to add any of that. The only thing on these steaks is salt. We salted them for about an hour before dropping them in, which gives a, a nice crust. Also, while these are cooking, I wanna say we got them nice and ripping hot, but once we dropped them in, I turned down the heat to a little over medium high. We have electric burners here, so not my preference, just what's in the house right now, but they are easy to control relative to gas. So we can get the same readings on both pans in theory. See how this is looking right here? All right, it's been about two minutes. Let's flip that over. There you can see we're getting a very nice crust right there on the exterior. Let's see about the Wagyu. Oh yeah, also very nice crust. Maybe make sure we get nice contact on those steaks. They've been cooking for about four or five minutes now. We have an internal temperature read on both steaks at about 95 degrees. So they're cooking very evenly. Probably have another, I don't know, maybe two minutes left before these are done. Before I pull them out, I'm going to sear the fat caps on both steaks, the exterior. All right, so even though they're the exact same weight, the Wagyu was just a little bit thinner. So that one is done cooking, pulled it off at about 120 degrees. And this choice is taking a little bit longer. We're at 108 right now. 109, probably about another minute left. 
All right, the steaks are done cooking. They took about six minutes from beginning to end. Over here, we have our choice. Over here, we have our Wagyu. First, uh, observational differences, not a lot of difference. I think if I were to say anything is that the Wagyu has a little bit better crust just visually looking a little bit better Maillard reaction. And that's not really a surprise given all the additional fat that's in that steak. The one thing I like about using avocado oil is this color. I mean, you can see it right there in the fat. If you use a different type of oil, it's hard to get that type of color. From a sound perspective, I mean, this one's clearly has the better crust, the Wagyu. And I try to keep almost everything equal, but again, that's not really a surprise. So let's see how they turned out. All right, now that they're cut, let's just go ahead and pick a piece right from the middle. See how the center looks. There we go. Color-wise, it doesn't look like the color that we want, but the color doesn't always tell the whole picture. I pulled this at 120 degrees. It could be due to lighting. I know there's been some experiments done on how lighting affects the color of the steak, but we have some pink in the middle, gray on the exterior, not as much pink as I'd like to see, but I really think that has to do more with the type of steak over here. Same temperature, pulled it at 120. Here we got a lot more red. There may be other reasons for that, but just observationally, I know I pulled them both at the exact same temperature. Now for the moment of truth, we're gonna start over here with the choice. Good steak, average steak. It's about the steak I expect to eat when I'm eating a ribeye that has a lot of fat, has good texture. It's about average. Gotta cleanse my palate. Next up, the Wagyu. Go ahead and get a bite I can actually eat. As usual, I took way too big of a bite. Wagyu is so good, guys. It really is. This is Australian Wagyu. I don't think I've ever had it, but it is so good. The best way I can describe it, the best way I do describe it to people is that it tastes like it was marinated and cooked in butter and then coated with butter after it was done cooking, but really no butter ever touched this steak. It's a high quality steak. I'd put it right up there with the other Wagyu steaks I've had, the, the Wangus, the Angu, whatever you want to call it, the American Wagyu, as it's more properly called here. So there is a price difference here. This is $13 a pound. The Wagyu is $26 a pound. Is it twice as good? Yeah, I do think it's twice as good. I think it's worth the additional price. It's also at this price point far more economical than American Wagyu that you'll find uh, through a lot of your mail order systems. So all in all, I'd buy it again. I suggest you guys try it out if you do. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you willing to pay twice as much to have a steak that probably tastes twice as good? And in closing, I just want to say, just remember, being alive is truly a privilege. So enjoy that privilege by treating yourself to a high quality steak. I'll see you guys next time.